Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Susie from the blog Girl Gone Green, and today I'm gonna to be sharing my full non-toxic natural cleaning routine with you. Yes, I'm gonna dive in deep into what I use, why I use it, some options as far as different tools for cleaning, and all of my favorite natural cleaning products. So let's get to it. Okay, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that red button, and then right next door, hit the bell notification so you'll be the first to know when I have a brand new video up. And if you haven't joined my Facebook group, be sure to join over at Girl Gone Green Babes. There's over 2,600 of us in there. You're getting so much feedback. You can ask questions and learn a ton. And then if you haven't started following me on Instagram, be sure to follow me at Girl Gone Green, where I share all about my natural living lifestyle from the food I eat to the beauty products I use and everything in between. Okay, so I wanted to share a really in-depth just analysis of what I use to clean my house because I do get questions a lot and I review a lot of products and I feel like I've landed on my top favorites. So I'm gonna not only share my favorites, but hopefully it will help you to have just some options to choose from when you're picking out which products you're going to use in your home. I cannot stress enough the importance of swapping out your regular conventional cleaners for natural ones. Such a healthier environment for you overall, especially since we are in our homes so much and we're breathing in that air, we're touching you know, the counters, everything we clean. And so it's really important to make sure that the cleaning products we're using are safe effective. Um, and of course, why not have them be cost effective? So I'm giving you all the breakdown and all the things in this video. So let's go. Okay. The first product that I want to talk about in my natural cleaning video is Force of nature. They actually sent this to me at the beginning of the year. And I was so excited because I've heard so much about it over the past couple of years. So I finally got my hands on a bottle and I can say it was worth the wait. Um, not only do I really love it, but so does the girl who cleans my house every two weeks. She loves it too. Um, it uses three ingredients to disinfect from salt, water, and a vinegar. So what happens is you actually fill, the, um, fill this charger with water to a certain line. And then after that, you pour in the activator into it and then you hit a button and then you just wait until the um, charger turns green. That means it's ready to go. It takes about nine minutes for it to fully charge and to fully be ready to disinfect. And then you just pour it in the bottle and you're good to go. And you can spray surfaces, you can clean anything from your kitchen countertops to you know, your bathroom counters, toilet, shower, you name it. Um, this does need to be left on though in order to disinfect properly. It takes nine seconds to disinfect. So I like to tell people that um, it is interesting because I know a lot of people, they're like, well, I don't wanna wait nine seconds. But the thing is, is most um, disinfectants in order to work properly, you do actually have to spray them on and wait. So no matter what companies are saying, when I did talk to Force of Nature, you do need to wait that time in order to make sure everything is properly disinfected. So really love this. It faintly does smell of bleach. It's not super strong, nothing overpowering, but that is the scent that I get when I do use it. Um, so I love how pure it is. I love how effective it is. It cleans 99.9% .9 of all germs. They have a whole list on their website saying what they exclude and what they include, um, or what they, um, they have a whole list on their website sharing, um, the different, bacteria and things that they kill. And so it's really informative. So definitely check that out. I love that it not only cleans surfaces, but it also disinfects and deodorizes. So if you have something that's maybe smelly and you also want to disinfect, it does a really good job of doing both. And here's the, the clencher, like the final awesome thing about it is that it's only seven cents um, per ounce. So it really, really does a lot for a very small price take. Um, I think a lot of times people think that, you know, natural cleaners are a lot more expensive. And what I found is they're more expensive up front, but in the long run, they're actually saving you a lot more money compared to just buying that $4 cleaner at the store. So definitely check out Force of Nature. I've been loving it. It is such a, I mean, it cleans everything and it cleans it so well. Another thing I wanted to mention about Force of Nature that I have noticed that's different than any of the cleaners I've used when it comes to natural cleaning is that it doesn't leave a residue. This is the one cleaner that really does 
cleaned super well, but there is no residue or film left behind. For instance, on my floors, I have a um, like laminate flooring in our main area that looks like wood. And if you, we typically spray it and we're doing like this mop with it. Well, it usually leaves like a residue we have to go back over with a towel, but this did not even, I noticed it. And then even my um, girl who cleans noticed it. So it was really awesome because I love that it just makes everything shine and look really, I guess, sparkly without the extra, you know, residue. So another great thing about force of nature can't recommend it enough. Um, it's been awesome and I love that it does all the things yet. It's still like a good budget friendly option. Okay. Of course I could not not share about young living thieves, all purpose cleaner. I've been using this for probably a year and a half now and I absolutely love it. I love the smell of thieves. I don't know if you've smelled it. It smells kind of like cinnamon and spices and all the good things. Um, lemony. Is that a word? I don't know, but you guys know what I mean. It smells really, really good. So this is a concentrate. So what you do is you would just buy this and then basically make your own spray using water. So what you do is mix one cap of this with 16 ounces of water for an all purpose cleaner. And then it kind of goes, um, down from there, depending on what you're wanting to clean, whether it's, you know, a mirror or glass, or maybe you're trying to get more of a scrub. They have all different recipe variations depending on what you're cleaning. So it can use be used for everything. I use this for my bathroom again, for my kitchen. I've used it on my floors. You can use it as a mirror glass cleaner. Um, I've used it in my car. Like there's just so many uses. It kills um, all the germs too. And it's seven cents per ounce. So this one, or this one is five, five cents per ounce. So it's a little bit cheaper than the um, force of nature. And like I said, it does everything. It even does laundry. So you can make your own laundry from this detergent. So I highly recommend if you haven't checked them out, initially, this might seem like a lot. I think this is maybe 40 something dollars, but in the end, it actually, like I said, it's, it's such a good cost effective way um, when you're rationing it out, depending on what you're cleaning. So if you haven't tried Young Living Thieves, do it. Okay, the last but not least when it comes to just all-purpose cleaners, my favorite. So the last one is Branch Basics. I really discovered this one before any of these. It's been probably about four years, three years ago. Um, they actually were even a company before that, but they reformulated. And then since they've been back on the scene, I have used their products and I love their new formulation. It works so well. Um, again, it's the same idea where you take a bottle of concentrate, you just buy that. It's about this size. And then you would just fill up the spray bottles depending on what you want to use it for. So this one says bathroom on it. Um, they also have ones for windows or mirrors. You can have one for like the kitchen. Um, it just depends again, what you're going to clean. So you would just fill the first line. It says water. And then the second line you would fill with soap. Um, and then you just shake it together and you have your disinfecting and then you have your um, all-purpose cleaner. So I love this because it's fragrance-free. Um, the Thieves obviously is not fragrance-free and neither is Force of Nature completely fragrance-free. So I feel like this is a great option for those who maybe don't like any scents. They want something super simple. Um, this cleans everything as well from your kitchen to your bathroom to your countertops. Um, super clean ingredients per bottle. This is two ninety, So it's a really good steal because I know a lot of times people think in terms of bottles because they're going to the store and they're buying a bottle of cleaner. And this one, like I said, is two ninety, which is a really, really, um, cost effective way compared to if you're buying like a $4 bottle at the store. Okay, another product that I wanted to mention is eCloth. They have their window cleaning cloths. So this is a microfiber company similar to a Norwex. And I really like these mic microfiber um, polishing cloths because they clean the mirrors and the windows so well. So I just get this wet and then I will just rub down the mirror and it gets off all the spark spots and marks. You can also, as I mentioned, make a window cleaner from the cleaners that I um, shared with you. But I also find that I just like this because I don't use paper towels. Um, I don't have them in my house. And sometimes regular towels just don't work as well, um, even with natural cleaners. So 
I really love this cleaning cloth. I use it all the time for that. Another product that I love using is just a natural scrub pad. So I use one of these every day for washing my dishes and then I'll just dispose of it because if you aren't familiar yet, regular just scour pads that you have at your dish sink are full of so much bacteria. They're one of the worst things because people just keep them around for a long time. So what I do is I actually cut these up. I'll take one and cut it up into six different scrub pads and I just use that one scrub, scrub pad the whole day and then I throw it away and I get a new one. Um, I like these because these are natural. There's no um, synthetics in them. It's just like a natural scouring pad that you can get these from Amazon and they work really well at getting anything off the dishes. Um, and then I'm not keeping them around where they're gonna harbor more bacteria, which I really, really love. So definitely check these out. I'll leave links for them below. Another thing that I use and that I think is a really fun thing to get, and I think a lot of people don't know about them, is these silicone bottle brushes. I really like it because bottle brushes, again, are one way you can really harbor bacteria because you're not cleaning the brush or the bristles. And so this is great because you can easily disinfect this. I'll just stick it in the dishwasher and it totally gets it clean again. It's just a silicone scrubby. And I'll use this to clean water bottles or anything that's hard to get to or reach, but it's still um, really sanitary. And I'm not wasting a ton because I only buy this once and then I just rewash it whenever I wanna um, disinfect it. Okay, another product that I wanted to share with you is the Grab Green Automatic Dishwashing detergent pods for your dishwasher. I absolutely love these. I've almost gone through a whole bag now. I was trying to find one that not only was super easy like the little pods, but that was also going to not be covered in plastic where I have to open the plastic and then put the pod in. I found a lot of natural ones still had that extra step and I was trying to save that plastic use, not be using it, and um, also still have a really effective formula and the Grab Green ones work so well. Um, love these. They wash my dishes so good in the dishwasher and they don't have that extra plastic wrap. Okay, last but not least is my e-cloth mop. So this is a big microfiber cloth that I put um, on it. And what I do is I just get this wet and damp and then I will wring it out and then attach it to the e-cloth mop. I used to recommend people getting the wet mops um, that you would spray and they spray like the steam mops. But the more I read about them and the more people I talk to when it comes to being more environmentally conscious and um, just being aware of mold, I realized how that's not good because you're basically um, causing water to seep in between the cracks, whether it's wood, um, tile, different things, and it can really warp and cause moisture to get trapped. So it can cause mold. So what I recommend now is just getting one of these e-cloth um, mops it's super inexpensive. I think this is 30 something dollars. And then um, you just wash this every time after you use it, the cloth part. And I just will spray some disinfectant, whether it's force of nature, um, because I really like that it leaves it streak free or um, another all purpose cleaner. And um, it cleans my floors really well without like the use of steam, which I found can kind of be a little too much for everything. So. Definitely check out this mop. I love it. I've had it for a long time. Okay, I hope that helps give you a little summary of my favorites when it comes to cleaning your house in a natural, non-toxic way. I know sometimes it can seem overwhelming on which products to choose and how to choose them like, and not spend a ton of money and know that they're going to be effective and all the things. So hope this was helpful. If you like this video, make sure and give it a th thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe. I have more videos coming for you, more helpful tips when it comes to living a natural, non-toxic lifestyle. So until next week, have a great week.